In today's video, we are going to talk about how to run Python in Visual Studio Code on Windows 11 step by step. Myself Mohammed Zubair and this channel is all about showing you how to become a highly paid IT pro really fast. So without any further ado, let's get started. In this video, I'll not only show you that how you can set up and run Python, but I'll also show you that how you can install Visual Studio Code. First of all, let's see if we have Python available into our system or not. For that purpose, I'll open my command prompt and in that I will write here Python space hyphen hyphen version and this will tell us if Python is available or not. So as you can see, we do not have any output. It means Python is not available. Let's use same command, but this time I'll write here Python 3, hit enter. Again, Python 3 is not available. So it means we have to install Python into our Windows 11. So first of all, go to your favorite browser and search for download Python. So I will write here download Python, hit enter. Here it is. This is the first link from Python itself. Just click on it, it will take you to this web page. From here, we have a button that says download Python 3.10.5. I'll just click on that one. So here it has downloaded our Python. And if you scroll down, here you have all the versions available from the Python and you can download anyone as per your liking and as per your need. But I'm okay with the latest one. Now it's time to install it. So I'll just click on open file. And from here we have two options. Either we can directly install it or we can go with the customized installation. And down here we have an option that says add Python 3.10 to path. Because we have to copy its path and add it into our environment variables. So that is a really good thing that we do not have to do it now manually. I'll just check this option and now I'll go with customize installation. So here we have documentation, we have pip, which is a library and it will help you to install other packages into your Python as well. Then we have IDLE, which is an development environment for our Python. Then we have test suite and many other things. Click on next and from here, Select the first option or check the box for the first option that says install for all users because it is a recommended one. Then here we have a directory where it is going to get installed. I'll go with the default one and I'll just click on install. Now the installation process has just begun. As soon as we are done with this one, we'll move ahead. And now I'll download my Visual Studio code so that we can save a little bit of time. So I'll just search for Visual Studio Code and I will hit enter. Click on the first link that is from the Visual Studio itself. It will take you to something like this. From here, click on the button that says download for Windows. Just click on it and it will start downloading the Visual Studio Code for your Windows 11. As you can see, it has started the download process. Along with the download of Visual Studio Code, the setup of Python is also successful. So let's just close this one. And now again, I'll open my command prompt. Here it is. In that, I'll write here, Python space hyphen hyphen version. And let's see if Python is installed. Here, if you see, it says Python 3.10.5. So that shows that Python has been added successfully into our Windows 11. Now we'll wait for the completion of download of our Visual Studio code and then we'll move ahead with the installation of it and then we'll see how we can set up our Python into it. We are done here with the download of our Visual Studio code. So I'll just click on open file in order to install it. From here, I'll accept the agreement, click on next. This is a directory where it is going to get installed. I'll simply click on next, again click on next, click on next and at the end just click on install. 
now the installation process has just started the installation has completed i'll just click on finish in order to launch my visual studio code so here it is this is how it looks like first of all i'll create a workspace so for that i'll go to file and click on add folder to a workspace i'll head to my desktop here it is and i'll create a new folder and i will name this folder as python and i will hit enter i'll click on add and i'll click on yes now i will click on this newly created workspace after that here we have an icon that says new file click on it and name your file i'll name it as script.py as soon as i write py you will see an icon appearing here here if you see this is the icon of python so how cool it is that visual studio code is smart enough to recognize which type of file we are going to work on and as soon as i hit enter visual studio code will detect that this particular programming language needs some extensions to be installed here it is now i'll write a message in here i'll write here print and inside my print statement i'll write a simple message i'll write here hello world and we are good to go in case if you do not see the message to install some of the extension just click on this extensions button and from here look for the extension yourself and write here python and it will give you everything that is related to your input and here it is and if i just click on it here if you see we do not have the install option it means this is already been installed into my system and that is why we do not see any of the message related to python in your case you will see it and even if you do not see it follow the way that i have shown you after you are done adding python extension we have to add one more and that is code runner here it is click on it and install it into your system as well after you are done adding both of these extension close your extension and close your extension pane and we are ready to run our first python program so i'll just save this file and let's run this one let's see what do we get as an output so here if you see this is the output that says hello world now let's modify it and let's have something in which we'll take input from the user so i'll write here name one equals input and inside my input i'll have a message as enter first name after that i'll have another message in which i'll write here name two equals input and inside my input i'll have a message that will say enter second name I want to have some spaces before and after the message because when we want to have our output we want to have some alignment in it so we are done with the inputs now let's have the output and let's have a message in which we'll print the input that we'll take from the user so for that I'll write here print and inside my print statement I'll have a message as full name is after that comma and now call your variables so if you remember in our case the variables are name1 name2 and we are good to go now i'll save this file and i will rerun my program and here it is asking us to enter our first name we'll not be able to do so because at this moment it is in readable mode to make this change and to enter the input go to your file section and go to your preferences and then go to your settings in the search area just write run in terminal and it will give you some option that will say code runner run in terminal scroll down here it is this is the one i'm talking about so just check this checkbox close your settings and relaunch your visual studio code so i'll see you after the relaunch of my visual studio code so we are back now let's rerun our program here it is asking us to enter our first name so i'll write here zubair and i will hit enter 
now i will enter my second name and again i'll hit enter and here we have the output and that shows that our python is taking input and showing the output on the terminal and that also shows that our python is up and running and that brings us to the end of today's video please leave a like subscribe and press the bell icon we'll see you in the next video till then take care